Hey everyone, how are you doing? So, we're on our way to San Francisco. This has been quite top of our list and uh, we're going to go and see something Gary really fancies seeing. What are we going to, Babs? The Alcatraz. We're going to Alcatraz. Uh, we're hoping to see the Golden Gate Bridge as well, but we'll see what happens. But we're just going to cross the bridge. I'll show you it. It's not the Golden Gate one, but it does look pretty interesting. I'm not sure where we're crossing over at the moment, but potentially we're just having a look what's over that side. Gary, if you just keep your eye on the road so I don't have to shit myself, that would be quite nice. Flipping out. And uh, here we go. That looks like a, a fairground ride just there, although it's not. Yeah. When we get to San Francisco, we're doing something a little bit different than what we've been doing. We're not going to stay in our motorhome for two nights. We've actually booked a hotel room for two nights. We're going to stay at the Holiday Inn Express in Barclay, aren't we, Bob? It'll be cheaper than, than going to some of the RV parks that are in San Francisco. Plus, we get parking for free, breakfast for free, and we're really close to everything. We didn't want to take the van up and down. We made the, uh, a rookie error, didn't we, in Seattle? Seattle. Driving it all around the place. That was that was ridiculous of us. So we wanted it to be based in one place. That's when we go out. Gary can have a drink if he wants as well. He doesn't have to worry about driving and everything. So this will be a, a very different experience for us for a while, won't it? Yeah, it will admit. And air conditioning. We'll have air conditioning for once. That'll be fabulous. <laughs> Gosh, so uh, here's a sign of what's to come. Care about the planet, then either go vegan or put a cork in it. <laughs> oh dear, that's uh, that's not going to wear with Gary, is it, so well? <laughs> not so well. Thought it, was, thought it was a wine advert at first. <laughs> <laughs> actually, wine is vegan, so that is actually very helpful. As long as I can always have wine. At the Holiday Inn Express, and it looks really nice, to be honest. And there's loads of space in the car park, isn't there, babe? There is. So we just want to find a place that we're out of the way from everybody else, really. And uh, I think either that corner, babe, or this corner. We're at the Hotel Motel Holiday Inn. We can't believe it, can we, babe? Oh, it's really nice as well. We've got a gorgeous room. We have. So, massive bed. Um, which is good because I'm boiling up and air conditioning <gasps> and then we've also got like um, a little seating area and big TV we haven't watched TV since we got here have we babe <laughs> so we might watch a bit of telly <laughs> and uh, we've got a little kitchen area as well so there's a microwave coffee maker and a gorgeous bathroom so over the moon I'll tell you what's great as well we can see the motorhome from our bedroom window how fantastic is that north barkley station and this is it's called the bart system isn't it bab yeah so where are we here then uh, we are um up we're on here. the red line aren't up we north, north barkley and we're oh, going we're down it's about made it to the train station didn't we i was huffing and puffing it was only 15 minutes but but it's like basically it's an underground than I was expecting. It's a sort of lineup of palm trees and gorgeous, gorgeous uh, artwork. So we're at the ferry terminal um, tram station, aren't we? Yeah, and we're yeah. going to, where are we going? We're going to Pier 33 on the Fisherman's Wharf tram. And then we're heading to Alcatraz, set up sort of bikes all over the place. You can pick up scooters. And here's your tram system that just runs all the way along the piers. It's brilliant. For the Alcatraz Island crossing, so we're just gonna. There's a lot of people on our our one. We're on the 10:35 tour, and uh, I think there is going to be some sort of headset or something. Hopefully, restricted in your luggage sizes, so you know, good to know before you come. And you're not allowed to bring drink or food into the area. There is a toilet before you get on, but my God, it's crowded. And here's your boarding crew at Alcatraz Cruises. It's boiling in the queue, but you get a free little fan. But they say give it back for the next visitor. Oh, it's, it's a bit like, like a medical spatula with a fan, but I don't know about sharing it with everybody. I'm hand sanitising like mad here, aren't I? It's got on the ferry. There's some seating upstairs, but it's absolutely chocker. So we've stood downstairs, but look at the swell here. Good God. But I think we're setting off now. We're just going to stand here, I think. It's lovely and cool. Oh my God, maybe how funny we just had to rush in. Some poor bloke's got really soaked. <laughs> yeah, it goes right over the edge here. Gary's braving it in the corner though. Been up to Alcatraz and there's the ferry going back as well. But by accident, we actually got a really good position standing outside. Because once we've turned around, the water's not coming over the edge. 
and we've got a perfect view of the Golden Gate Bridge, San Francisco skyline, and of course, Alcatraz Island. We're coming close now to the island. There's a real sort of docking system here as well. You can see the prison up at the top. Some real swells here, isn't there, babes? Yeah, well, that's why the island, that's why the island became a prison, basically, is that they didn't have to worry about maximizing the security, because they knew even if you tried to jump off and went into the sea, you were almost guaranteed to die in the currents. Wow. So it was its own deterrent. Yeah, there's some Discover Alcatraz maps that you can buy for a dollar. I put mine in. Oh, did I pick the right language up? English, I did pick English. They've got all different languages, which is fantastic. To queue and be prepared for the sun. So we're in the shady line. I'm trying to keep cool, aren't we, Bab? In a guard tower, looking out to sea. As prisons go, it's got some view, hasn't it, Gary? <laughs> Not bad to have a room with a view here. There's some ruined parts here. We're going up the hill, it's quite steep, isn't it? Yes. It's got a really weird smell, hasn't it? I'm not sure it's weird, babes. I know exactly what it is. It smells Ooh. like pee. <laughs> It does, it's like odour urine, isn't it? Is. I mean, if there's toilets down there, so there's no excuse. I think this is birds. 4,400 nests. It's got to produce a fair bit of it. It's got a right bit of a pain, it's isn't it? It's smelly as hell. One slope. Reminds me of going up the Rock of Gibraltar. And uh, there's, a, there's a, the guard tower. I'll tell you what there is, though. There's loads of flies here. We're heading up towards there. There's the prison. Look at that building and all the railings that we've got to we kind of go, go up there pick up the audio tour heading up the hill again but there are some golf carts we've seen um, so if you have mobility issues you are able to get on one of those so, coming into the cells it's got a really horrible feeling actually Gary um, sanitizer oh, he's so well trained look at him <laughs> prisoners arrived they were put into this sort of mass population shower here and then they were issued their blues here before they went into mass population we just got our tour sort of headphones and the guy says here's yours in chinese isn't it it's like trying to tease me i was like no no i don't want to chinese <laughs> uh, and then gary saw someone had put their fan in the bin and i put mine i'd given mine back prematurely and he uh, he said do you want me to get you a fan out i was like what out of the bin no thanks honestly We've got our headphones on now and we're just waiting to get to the there's a, like a little red sign that means just tours start this is your uh, waiting queue area you can see the cells look gosh they were quite small i'd rather be in a cell on my own though in a place like this that's for sure it's going into the hole what does it feel like just imagine it was all locked up though babe and it was completely yeah. dark yeah that's a completely different feeling it must have been horrible 19 days was the maximum that anyone ever went in the hole. Oh, thank you. It's just awful, isn't it? Isn't it? This section was known as the good time cells, and there was actually windows that you could see San Francisco, and apparently on New Year's Eve, if it was the wind was in the right direction, you could hear people, and you could hear laughter and women, and it was just such a joy for them, this windows, and this what it would... Oh, I've got a visitor. Oh, hello. <laughs> I don't know what he's saying. <laughs> Yeah, I'll see you in a couple of years, Bab. Infamous cell 138, where there was a breakout and they put a head in the bed and the poor guard had found it. They put hair and everything on the head and you can see at the back of the cell there is the hole that they've dug out. But they were really creative in making sure that they bought themselves some time by putting that head there. We just made the uh, 12.35 ferry, haven't we? Did, yeah. We're gonna go down to Pier 39, 39. now, I think, to find a bit of lunch and everything. That was amazing. Wasn't it good? Fantastic. Some of those stories you heard on the audio tour were just brilliant. Yeah, and also, some people were doing like 25 years for a little bit of theft and everything. Yeah, stole for $16. Yeah, and I mean, I know it was worth years. more than that now, but there were some really horrible stories and uh, definitely recommend this. Oh, so many flies there. There's two on my arm. Gary, get them because they'll bite me. Just a short walk along, you'll come to Pier 39 and uh, there's an aquarium there. It's a bridge over. But there's loads of restaurants and shops in here as well. Some really nice artisan shops here as well. Like chocolate shops, ice cream, loads of places. It's 
lovely. So I've decided to come to Bubba Gump's for lunch, haven't we, babes? We haven't been here before. Nope. Got a lovely table with a gorgeous view. And uh, you'll know this is famous, really, from the old fo run, Forest Fun, <laughs> from Forest Gump. Love that film. I feel like I've like done something really bad because I've ordered like a chicken burger in Bubba Gump's place, but I don't really want prawns today. And you've ordered a cheeseburger, haven't you? <laughs> But we couldn't be bothered to walk any further. Our feet are killing us. <laughs> Good choice. I'm quite happy. Are you, Gary? Oh, yes. Oh, I'm starvacious. <laughs> Another Lovelock Bridge. We've already put one on ours in, in Savannah. Oh, gosh. They're lovely. However, we've just come to the seal area. Amazing. Look at all these sea lions. This is unbelievable. They feel so close as well, and they're really entertaining to watch. Oh, they're having a fight, them pair. Now, I don't know if they're playing or kissing or fighting, but it's the sort of kissing you wouldn't really want, girls. Oh, look at them. They're all having a lie down in the sun. I don't blame them, I've had a big lunch, I need a lie down. Oh, gosh, what's going on here? Oh, they're having a right old row. Some big ones, yeah. That big daddy one there. Those two having a little row. Tussles going all over the place. So you got Pier 45, we're at the World War II vessel and here we are, there's Gary. <laughs> there's the museum in the city of San Francisco and this is completely free. There's all sorts of little games and bits and pieces isn't it Bab? It's an old style of mechanical attraction, the boy and the elephant made in Paris around 1895 it says. And the boy will rotate in order to <laughs> avoid getting wet by the elephant. <laughs> I don't know, people must have been quite easily pleased. We have a little stop in here because it's just really strange. 25 cents, I don't even know what this is. But that doesn't look like the sort of person you want babysitting you. So we found a very important test, it's to see how sexy we are. So Gary's going to test his sexiness first. Have you got your 25 cents, Gary? Yes. Okay, so what it says is put, insert the coin. There we go, I'm going to put 25 cents in. Put your hand on the panel and relax, Gary. Test is over when you can read your score. <gasps> Look, it's going mad. Sex test, sex test, sex test. <gasps> You're passionate. <laughs> You've got a 40. Well, I'm glad I didn't say sex oh. test. <laughs> well, yeah, me too. Right, let me see what mine is. Put 25 cents in for me. You put it in for me then. Right. Are you ready? Uh, right, okay. No, no, put it in. Put the money in first. In. God. Right, okay, let's see what mine is. Oh, oh, it's going, it's going. Oh, it's going to say dead bloody fish or something. <gasps> I'm a sex Yay! bomb, Gary! Yay! <laughs> <laughs> this place is well worth a visit. There's just so many of these really old things. There's a Wurlitz area that you can come in, and most things are like 25 cents, and you can have a go on them. They're just really unusual. We've even got a Pac Man. Gary's in his element. This is brilliant. Isn't this a great little free place to come? It's like an old fashioned arcade. It is, it? Dropped us off at the Welcome Centre for the Golden Gate Bridge. There she is. Really clever picture changing. Um, that changes as you walk, it changes the year and shows you the stages at which it was built and then takes you to the queue, the end of it where it says May the 27th 1937 where it looks fully built and that's my birthday, obviously not 1937 though. If you love bridges like me you'll really appreciate the beautiful structure of the Golden Gate Bridge. Sadly it's the place with the most the highest suicide rate in the world, isn't it, Gary? Yep. Yeah, it's really it sad, that is. Such a beautiful place, but so sad, really. And you've got to be desperate to do that. I'm going to walk on it a little bit, but here's the rules. No skating, no skateboards, Gary. Scooters, animals on bridge. Caution, high winds. It's open till nine o'clock. It's closed after nine to pedestrians. 
Uh, but we're going to have a little walk along. This is what it looks like in the pedestrian lane. It's busy, obviously, on the bridge. And if you look over the edge, I'm going to do it carefully, there is a net there, which I think is to prevent suicides. So, there you go. I think it's the net. The net is still 250, 300 feet from the water, so you just jump into the net and then you jump off the net. Stop giving people ideas, Bab. <laughs> one up the temperature is currently 35.2 degrees celsius in the van it's boiling and we've realized that the fridge doesn't seem to be working 